you know, some of the serverless customizations that were out there, I thought that was a great, you know, great, great announcements. Uh, they make the serious LLM tuning, um, you know, something that they call boring, in other words, in a good way. And it's able to take serverless fine tuning, which removes one of the biggest barriers to serious LLM adoption. And with this release, no longer you need ML ops, heavy lifting or cluster wrangling just to adapt to a model into your domain. So that's a step in the right direction. In other words, the ability to apply serverless is an area serverless, which is uh, something that AWS does very well, but also, also other cloud providers provide that capability as well um, to get it into production to make running these things easier. And finally, Amazon S3 vectors uh, and uh, 50 terabyte object size increase, which sounds very geeky, but that is something that's gonna be very exciting to people who run those systems. And Amazon S3 vectors is now GA, which can store up to 2 billion vectors per index, uh, you know, uh, 20 trillion per bucket. And obviously with the use of AI and the use of RAG, um, that's gonna be an important infrastructure to have on hand. And then probably the most interesting one would be AWS Interconnect, which is a multi-cloud networking with Google, uh, which basically uh, surprised a lot of people. So they introduced AWS Interconnect as a multi-cloud, you know, starting with Google Cloud to provide managed high, high bandwidth private connectivity between clouds using a new joint interoperability specification. 